Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sanket Pisat and in this series of very short videos, I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that have been repeatedly circulating on our group. One of these is the method of differentiation between a bicornuate uterus and a septate uterus and which is the correct investigation to differentiate them, whether it is HSG, whether it is MRI, whether it is 2D laparoscopy or whether it is 3D laparoscopy. Now, some of the things that you have to understand with respect to this, I'd prefer to draw and show you. So let me just share my screen and we'll see if we can do justice to this topic once and for all so that people are not confused again and again. So let's see this now. When we look at the video or when we look at the drawing, if you notice, this is the external contour of a normal uterus. And when we draw the inside of the uterine cavity, we would draw it like this if it is a normal uterus. So that's what a normal uterus looks like and we will keep that in perspective. Now let us suppose that the patient has got a septate uterus. So the uterus will be like this and the fundus of the uterus will be like this and the inside cavity this is going to be, well, of course, both you and I know it is going to be somewhat like this. So this is what we would call as a septate uterus. Does the depth of the angle, does this angle really change the fact of diagnosis as to whether it could be septate or bicornuate? Well, I think not for the simple reason that if you look at this, this is a septate uterus. Suppose I were to erase this part and draw another line over here in this manner, and I would take it deep down, does this now become a bicornuate uterus? No, it does not. However, what we are seeing on the HSG is just the cavity. And therefore, when you look at the cavity on any imaging modality, without paying attention to the external contour of the uterus, and by external contour, I mean by this external contour of the uterus, any uterus may be deemed to be septate or bicornuate, or it is going to be very difficult to make out exactly what kind of uterus it is. However, if I now tell you that instead of this external contour, the external contour of the uh, uterus is in this manner, then you could clearly tell me that this is now a bicornuate uterus. Therefore, the point to note is that it does not matter or is very difficult to differentiate based on an HSG alone whether this picture that you are seeing over here, that means this internal lining, is a septate uterus or a bicornuate uterus. Whatever happens, we do require a information which tells us what is happening to the external contour of the fundus. That means we have to know what is happening to this particular area. And we understand clearly that if this particular area is single or does not have a dip, then this becomes a septate uterus. And if this has a dip like this, this becomes a bicornuate uterus. Now, there are variants in this, like bicorporeal septate, etc., which we will discuss at some other time. But for now, suffice to say that we require an investigation which tells us what is the external fundal contour of the uterus. And this is possible only in two investigations. One of these investigations is, as you correctly uh, thought of, one of the correct investigations is a 3D USG and the other uh, correct investigation to diagnose this is an MRI. So purely on the basis of HSG alone, it is not possible to find out what is the external contour. You can take a calculated guess as to whether the uterus is septate or bicornuate, but one cannot definitely be sure. Therefore, when you post a patient, even when you are doing a hysteroscopy, you can imagine that the cavity which is shaded in green may appear to be a septate or a bicornuate either way, but you cannot take a decision on whether to cut this or not unless you know what is the external contour. So the only correct way of finding out or dealing with such a problem is to either have one, a 3D USG before the surgery, which will tell you whether this is septate or bicornuate, or to do an MRI, or third, to do a simultaneous laparoscopy. In the rare event that these cannot be done, 
if someone has done prior laparoscopy and has good notes with pictures of the external frontal contour, one may go ahead and consider this as a septate uterus and not as a bicornuate. But otherwise, taking a decision on table and trying to cut this septum will mean that you will start cutting from this line to this line, and obviously, there will be a perforation at this level. So I hope this video has helped you. And we will be uh, staying in touch for more such videos as and when we uh, proceed. So that's it for today. And thank you for listening.